How are you doing? Welcome back to Andreas Valley Poker. In today's video, I'm going to go into Pro Poker Tools Odds Oracle, how I use it, especially to review some of my live poker hands. It's $80 a license. Let's get into it. Here you can see a no limit hold'em hand. But for Odds Oracle, I could use this for any other poker game. So for example, if I want to learn about five card Omaha, I can also use it for that to get a better understanding of the game. But for this one, I set up a specific no limit hold'em example. Um, where you know I can learn something about a spot. Let's say um, for some reason you raise and you get six callers and uh, you think that they all more or less have the same range because it's live poker and you're holding pocket aces, but you could also be holding ace king or whatnot. It doesn't really matter. The board comes king 10 10 rainbow and you want to know how often um, you are beat. And the question for that is that you can ask and you can do it down there is you can go to plus and instead of equity breakdown or equity stats, you can do on how often and then at least one player matches hand range or I think flop hand categories at least trips, which is here. And then you click the start button and you're going to get the answer. And obviously it matters what ranges you put in. And for each player, I put in like some playable hands and then basically uh, cut out the top hands because they will be three betting it or squeezing it. It's obviously super tight. You know, obviously uh, they could also be squeezing a lot of suited broader cards, but uh, I wanted to simplify it. And let's say, you know, everyone's got like a, you know, not too loose range, but also not too tight. So a lot of suited connectors, pocket pairs, suited ace, X and suited king, X. Um, and then also some offsuit Broadway hands. You could obviously make this range wide or whatever you want to do, but you just want to get a, an indication of how often people have trips. And you can see that it's 60% with six opponents. So quite naturally, if you obviously get rid of two opponents, which you could do here, it would drop down to 40%. Um, actually, that's not true because the ranges overlap. So I already was wrong with that. Um, because of card removal, uh, it's non-linear. So if you get rid of players, you um, would still have a higher chance than, uh, for example, for six players, the chance was 60%. So it doesn't mean that for three players, it's 30% because of card removal. Uh, almost uh, botched it here, or I did actually. And now the question is also, you know, what does it matter what board it is? And for that, really think logically about the spot. For example, here, you can see that for the 10x here, we have a lot of 10x, especially the offset combinations. Um, the most of them are going to be 10x. So king 10, 10 boards are going to be different from, for example, a board like king, king, a king, deuce, deuce. So I already prepared a, a little file here with some board, different board textures and I'm putting in some different trip boards. And uh, I'm going to ask the same question here on king, deuce, deuce. And here you can see that all of a sudden, even if we put in six opponents, the chance that on King Deuce Two Deuce, someone has trips is only 10%. So obviously we can do it also with like King 8-8 and see how, how much is there. We can, we could, for example, make a spreadsheet here and then put in some different board textures and make some assumptions about players' ranges and what they are playing and then see, you know, how often players uh, would have uh, trips in this spot. And this is just an example. You can obviously train any different board, but I think that when you play a live poker hand, this is a, a excellent tool to train your understanding of how often you are beat. And that's really what live poker is all about when you play multi-way. You really have to ask yourself, okay, well, how realistic is it is that, that you're beat? And for example, I'm gonna show you a PLO hand that I also show basically to all of my students um, to illustrate the power of this tool. And that is going to be the monotone board. And as for example, if the board comes uh, nine of clubs, seven of clubs, two of clubs, and you have a queen half flush, let's say you have queen, queen, 10, five, and you have two clubs and two spades. And then now you're going to face some different ranges, um, some fish, some really weird players, but then also some tighter players. Um, with some capped ranges, so exclamation mark means that you exclude aces. And now the question is here really, how often at least one play, uh, player flop hand categories at least, and then 
we are we would go to match hand range because that's going to be easier and then we do a uh, king with cl king of clubs or ace of clubs so when i ask like how often we're beat and those two hands have us beat and the answer is about 50 percent right it's going to take a while because going through those ranges uh, will take uh, even also like a, a long time uh, but yeah when you have five opponents and you have a queen of flush on a monotone board you're beat about half the time that means when somebody starts betting into five people or six way you know you should consider folding right away because when you're beat half the time and you're basically in a bluff catching scenario you know having a queen of flush is usually a pretty bad thing especially when you cannot improve to a full house for example if you have queen queen seven um nine that's actually not possible but if for some reason you had yeah queen jack nine seven double suited and you could still make a boat you would call that hand you know that could still could obviously be the best flush because someone could have the nut flush blocker and and then try to improve to a full house also you know you could also add the ace of clubs which could be bluffing so if somebody has just ace of clubs you want to know that too and now the chances are 70 percent because you know um if he has ace of clubs the chances are that the person is going to barrel multiple times and basically you have to fall by the turn or the river if the person is going to barrel on especially if you don't have position that's even worse so this is a great tool to you know make you understand multi-way poker no matter what the format is whether it's hold them pot them with oma high low and whatnot and you're gonna see you know some potential threats you know can make for example the same thing with um for example a board like king queen five and you have middle set you can ask the same thing like how often is it that somebody matches the hand range uh, kings with these different um you know ranges and you can see that the threat of someone having kings is already 32 percent here given the card removal let's say we add one king to our hand that will reduce the chance of somebody having top set by even more than uh 50 percent given those range assumptions because of removal and um yeah you can see that this is a great tool to practice your understanding of multi-way live poker i hope you enjoyed this little introduction here and you know as i said 80 dollars i think is very little to improve your poker game let me know what you think in the comment section below if you uh, enjoyed this tutorial about how i use provoked results article to review my live poker hands and get some better understanding of how poker works uh, in terms of uh, equity and health near beaten especially when it comes to multi-way poker thanks for watching